guys, I'm back with another video. Super excited um, uh, to be posting another video. Today's video is on the skin, on how to um, do your concoction of your foundations, um, and just pretty much the products I use for my face. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I will greatly appreciate it. So, um, without further ado, let's get on to this video. Right, you guys, are you ready for the skin? I am so pumped to do, um, my skin today, uh, with foundation and just add a little bit of coverage. I do like a medium to light coverage sometimes. So, well, most of the time actually. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just wanna show you guys something quick and simple with um, how I do my face makeup and stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into this thing. Um, so uh, my favorite thing to start off with is the Charlotte Til Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I'm in medium four. This is the component. This is one of my favorite products literally ever, I feel like. Um, it has a doe foot applicator. So um, what I'm gonna do is just apply a tiny, tiny bit to my skin. And this is gonna give a nice glow. Like you can literally just wear this without foundation if you want and just apply it all over to your skin. I just absolutely love the way it makes my skin look. Um, you can, um, Use your hands if you want to, or you can use a brush to um, just apply this on. Press for time, I can hear my baby. He has his little maraca thing, his toy downstairs. I can kind of hear him just playing with it and stuff. So before he starts crying, I'm like, ah, I need to try to record this video <laughs> for you guys. But um, okay, so right um, after this, um, I go in with these two foundations. It's the Luminous Silk Foundation in Giorgio Armani in 7.5 this is what the component looks like i absolutely love that foundation and then the little concoction that i mix it with is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless foundation in six neutral now this shade is lighter than my giorgio armani and i just like to pump um some out on the back of my hand and then i'll pump the charlotte tilbury and honestly, it's probably like too much, but it's okay. And I just kind of swirl it um, around just like that. And then whatever I have left on my finger, I just kind of just apply it. I'll go ahead and just apply it like that. And I'm going to take my It Cosmetics um, Airbrush Floss Complexion number 32 brush. It's a dual ended brush. And honestly, it's it's a lifesaver because it has that brush down here for um, your concealer. So I'm just gonna blend this on out. And I just like to go over this until like, I feel like I like the way the skin is looking and I feel like my foundation is blended out to just the way that I like to have my foundation. Try to see if I'm not missing any spots because I feel like sometimes that happens where you might accidentally miss a spot. And if your face, usually your face is lighter, you know, usually than your body sometimes. And um, that'll show, you know, sometimes that'll show through. So I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I got this in my BoxyCharm, absolutely love this. Let me take some of this excess foundation off. Um, so Dose of Colors Concealer, I got the shade 10 Light. And I, I usually only apply like a little bit. I'm not, I feel like I'm not one of those people that like puts like the big old triangle and stuff. I don't know. I feel like my under eyes just, it just doesn't like concealer like that. I feel like, um, next I'm going to go in with my wet and wild. Um, this is my contour stick in 805 call me maple. Um, and I just like to put a little bit here and I'll take my Lexi, um, 516 brush, the dual fiber brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. With my dual ended brush, I'll take the side of the brush and I'm gonna blend out my concealer. And I like to kind of tap that product in there because um, tapping it will um, pretty much keep that product where you want it. And it will actually give you more coverage instead of just dragging it down. 
So I like to press this uh, concealer into the spots where I like it to be. And if I need to, um, if it's too harsh, I'll turn my uh, foundation brush around and I'll kind of just tap in uh, whatever excess foundation I have so they both can just blend on out together. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side, just tap that to the spots where you want your concealer to be. Use this Tarte palette, um, the, what is this called? The Park Avenue Princess. And I'm gonna take the Enhance um, shade using like a pretty fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and set, set that concealer. Next, I'll take my MAC Cosmetics Give Me Sun Bronzer. And um, do you guys, do you guys like to um, use your bronzer as a um, blush because sometimes I'll do that. I'll really focus my bronzer kind of up on my cheeks and stuff because um, I really, I don't know, I really like the way it looks. Hopefully like years from now I'll look back and be like, why was I putting bronzer on my cheeks like, um, why was I putting bronzer on my cheeks like a, a blush? I mean, I don't know. I like the way it looks and stuff. Um, so I just kind of go around the perimeter of my head just so everything kind of blends in together and stuff. So try to give some definition to my skin. And then I'll go across my nose. I kind of pinch, pinch the brush. And I already feel like that just makes us more alive and just like more vibrant and I just like the way bronzer, I just love bronzer, you guys. <laughs> my uh, Flawless Hollywood Filter. Sorry if the lighting is kind of weird. The sun is like moving, I guess, behind the clouds. But I'm gonna apply some to the tip of my nose, a little bit here. I'm not gonna add too much. And then some on my forehead. And with my finger, I'm just gonna tap that to blend it on out. And then whatever I have left, to bring it on the nose, my, my, uh, the bridge of my nose. And like I said, you can either use your finger or a brush that you like to blend this product on out on your skin. So I just alternate between whatever I'm feeling <laughs> like. So. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look of doing my foundation, the base of my face. <laughs> um, I really love how this combination of foundations make my skin look. Um, I feel like it wears nicely throughout the day. Um, so I just really like the way it looks. Like, I don't know. I just like the mixture of the two. So that's the best thing about like... Um, trying to figure out what works for you and like what foundations work well for your skin and whatever your skin type is and stuff. So um, this works pretty well. I want to say my skin is pretty much just in between. Sometimes it can be oily, sometimes it can be um, dry. It just really depends on the weather <laughs> and stuff. So she's a little bipolar, I guess you want to say. But um, yeah, I just really like it. Um, and especially this, Y'all, if anything, if you don't buy the foundations, I know they're a little pricey and stuff. And this one is too, but honestly, um, I'm such, I feel like I'm such a simple kind of basic person where um, if I just want to wear this on the skin and go, like I can and stuff, I just like the, it's like a healthy glow. So I really like the way that looks by itself, honestly. So, um, and, and like also with the contour, the wet and wild, I think this is maybe $2 or something like that. And I'm pretty sure you can find a coupon at Rite Aid or like Walgreens. They usually have coupons, you know, or buy one, get one, maybe free or half off. You know, there's always those options out there for you guys. Um, I also like the Wet n Wild Foundation. That I think that one's actually a dupe for the Giorgio Armani. Um, so if you want to get one of the higher end uh, foundations and mix it with a um, maybe a lower end uh, or like drugstore foundation, you can also do that and just play around, have fun with makeup, you guys. Um, because at the end of the day, you take it off. <laughs> Honestly, if you mess something up, you can take it off and just play around and try try things out. So um, that's why I love makeup so much because I get to have fun and, you know, 
enhance your features, you know, you want to enhance what you got. So, um, and just play around with it and stuff. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to comment something down below if um, whatever you want to see next from me. And be sure to hit that um, subscribe button and bell. That way when I'm posting videos, you guys get notified um, from what videos I have next um, that I have posted. <laughs> um, yeah, so I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!